Hello everyone, so today is day 19 of my daily update and I'm still in my hometown. It's nice, I was uh, this morning again in the garden and could get some vegetables like beans, tomatoes, uh, potatoes, what else? I don't remember. Uh, onions, so basically a full meal, uh, which I now prepared and now I just thought like uh, some cheese over it might do very well and a bit of lemon juice so I'm just getting these two things from the store quickly and afterwards um, I am still I still have to do some cleaning and get everything done like uh, for example we collect the grape leaves to do later on some dishes with it or I collected some mint to dry so I will look that I have everything ready and I make, uh, we also had some, how is it called, framboise uh, that I picked and I'm now trying to make some jam out of it and some cranberries but these I think I will just freeze or I will check how I could make some cranberry syrup or something like this that I could use but I don't really want to make syrup because then you have to add all the sugar in it. Uh, also with the jam, I was thinking, uh, doesn't go along with my policy really, but um, yeah, I think I just don't take it that strict. And today uh, I didn't do the yoga thingy because I knew I'm going to go to the garden, <laughs> will walk either way there and also move there a lot. Um, so I just directly went there, I think. For today, it's kind of a good exception, but tomorrow, depending on what I do, uh, except I would go again directly to the garden and do some gardening. I don't think, oh shit, it's raining. No, I have the mint on the balcony. Oh no, that's not good. Um, because last time I also did some dried mint, but I left it after one day in a in a towel, like packed in, but. Unfortunately, it, it, it went bad, so there was some weird stuff going on it, I guess some fungi. So now I will do it again, but this time I already, I will dry it longer outside um, and then take it in. So here in the grocery shop, it's kind of funny, like this is such a familiar grocery shop for me, they once renovated it. Uh, but yeah, that's all. So I'm at the cheese place and I actually just want to have some parmesan, but I'm not sure if I want this, which is big uh, pieces, or if I want um, the smaller pieces, which might be more fun to eat. I'm now trying this aside, or if I just should buy a junk and then take it with me uh, home. So I, there is an active decision making going on. So after some thinking, I'm going with this package because I just realized also if you, I thought it might be more expensive, but um, if you consider the 100 gram price kind of thingy, it's not that expensive actually. I'm thinking I should get some mozzarella as well. Um, no. And I said I would like to have a lemon as well. Oh. Maybe pizza? No. Um, yeah, that's actually my day already. There is nothing special or interesting that I could report of. For now, it's kind of, it's like not extremely productive, but it's like a lazy, uh, lazy day kinda, but still doing something, but not doing too much. Ah, they don't have the normal leavens, only bio, and I don't wanna waste for the same leaven, double the price. Um, but I also don't wanna walk further to the other store. Well, I guess I'll do this. But the other store doesn't have that many good products anymore since they renovated like they really it was a good store and they renovated it and now it just sucks or I go with a limette 
which also could be an option. Yeah, I think I do this. I haven't had one for a while. And oh, this feels good. This feels good. I'm the person who likes to touch everything to be sure that whatever she is buying is good. I know some people really get annoyed by this, but I don't think I also don't mind other people doing this touchy touchy thing. So yeah. I just think if you want to buy something, you should know is it good or not. And then I'm going to buy some dark chocolate and a fizzy drink because I like fizzy drinks. Basically, that's it. I have everything I need. I have still some sugar for the computer at home. Yeah, I have everything I need. Now I will just quickly check how to do the cranberry juice if it requires lots of sugar or if I could replace this somehow. And not, I might just freeze it and then tow it too. But I always wonder, like, what do you lose when you do the freezing cycle? I might need to Google this. Okay, bye guys.